at the moment, I prefer Pinot Noir from Hokkaido because of the freshness, uh, of the juiciness of itself. And it's actually now turning to be more burgundy style of Nihonju. So it's more interesting for the guests to discover those experience like, oh, actually Japan is producing something. It's so high quality. You can compare it to Burgundy. The Pushanju of Japanese wine in Hong Kong is actually very big. Because if you ask me, like Hong Kong local people really likes Japanese cuisine. Then through the Japanese cuisine, actually we can promote Japanese wine to another level in Hong Kong. And people will find it very interesting. And the good thing about Hong Kong locals was like you have the curiosity to jump into the wine, not only to sake, but they can also give it a try for Japanese wine, which will interest them. I think I want like uh, we need to go back to like 2018, like before the COVID. I think because uh, my previous restaurant we do like a uh, collaboration with one of the uh, Japanese sommelier, so that's why he. Uh, he tried to want to promote a little bit more like Japanese wine. So at that time, so we're doing a cooperation together. So we have uh, many selection of the Japanese wine to taste together. So actually that will be my first time. So my first time with tasting the Japanese wine, I think wow, it's very like uh, refreshing because I think it's uh, go for like uh, the climate in there and how they're doing the style. I like it very much. Yes, yeah, so wow, like it. For now, we can see the scene is like uh, picking up for now on, and especially like you know, like uh, people Hong Kong list, they always like Japanese stuff as well. It's more easier to do in the promotion, but of course, I would say that like marketing promotion is also is very helping uh, to let the guests more in understanding the the Hong, uh, the Japanese wine as well. And then uh, I feel I can feel that like uh, people in Hong Kong uh, that have never tried any Japanese wine ever. So this is also one of the reasons that we want to put it uh, here as a uh, buy glasses uh, for people to try to experience their first time in here. Yeah, I would say actually most of the people in Hong Kong uh, doesn't know about the Japanese wine yet. So it has a big potential uh, to promote to the uh, people who stay in Hong Kong. But however, um, like still need some time to understand because uh, the tasting portfolio and uh, it's a little bit different than the European uh, wine. Even they are same Sauvignon Blanc or maybe the Cabernet Franc. So I would say um, they have their very special styles. Uh, it just needs some time to let people understand that. It's just like the whiskey uh, in Japan, like they only have probably 100 years history, but they are already like in the internationals. So I believe uh, it will be also same to the Japan. Uh, when it was long, 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 long time ago, I can't, I couldn't remember what wine is it, but I remember it was from a Nagano. Uh, but the first experience was not good because it was too acidic and then it was kind of very thin. So I, I kind of very confused about okay, what exactly it is? Twenty something years ago, and um, other than the, we're still drinking the nice old world, new world, French, Italian, so on, but. The Asian wine, they all actually having a very different perspective right now in the wine industry. And particularly for um, Japanese wine to Hokkaido so cold or uh, to uh, uh, Nagano, it's more moderate um, climate, climatic condition. And then to make use of that um, special tehua to make um, what I call um, a very Japanese style wine. Japanese style, but great wine. Uh, yes, I think this is the right timing right now because um, like what I said, 20 years ago, it wasn't that good. Even we love Japan, okay? Uh, but the thing is, the wine, the taste is different and the taste is not that uh, matching when pairing with uh, uh, Hong Kong food or Chinese food or Cantonese food. But now, uh, with more people understand about wine, more people uh, and the young, the young, particularly the young people, they are more open up in their mind to enjoy different things, not only from the traditional wine world. So let's all think out of the box and then they can try different types of um, Japanese wine. They can actually, for me, I think it's a very good example of a, a, a mix of Western, East and West culture from the, from the bottle of Japanese wine, because you can see how the Japanese 
um, the way they make a very elegant style, but at the same time, they might be using um, international grapes or European grapes like to make it. But in a different terroir, that is completely different from no matter old world or new world. So I think right now is a, a good idea to, to promote the Japanese wine.